Hi, I'm Cindy Traciola, Realtor, and today we are here in Lone Tree, Colorado at the new development Lyric at Ridgegate. I'm going to show you a Shea home, and this is called the Marlowe. Let's go take a look. This home has five to seven bedrooms with four and a half to five and a half bathrooms, a two car bay garage, which I can't show you because they have the door locked but it has 3,671 finished square feet with an optional being 1,036 in the basement. The base price is 931,400. With this home, the way it's shown, it finishes out at about 1,100,000. When you first walk in, you're in this long, long, long hallway. And we're gonna go directly to the right through this little hallway and I'm gonna show you a bedroom that is on this main level and it's basically a junior suite because we've got the bathroom but here it is it faces the front of the home and the side of the home really a very nice size bedroom and i like how uh, to get to the closet and the bathroom you come through here here is the walk-in closet and that light's not working so it's a little dark i apologize and then here we've got the bathroom right here. So we've got a really nice walk-in shower and the loo. And we've got our quartz countertop, some great cabinetry, just a really pretty bathroom. Now let's go back out here and we're going to go in through this long hallway and directly to the right. We've got some barn doors to where we've got an office right here. So you can close that off if you want some privacy. But the office is quite large, if you can tell that, hopefully. Um, just a great office, I really like it. I like how we've got the barn doors. Now let's come out of there and we're back in the hallway. If we go directly to the left, we've got our main level powder room. And then come in a little bit more, we have our coat closet, which is actually a walk-in coat closet, so that's nice. Then here's the garage door that I said was locked, unfortunately. Now here, you could, there's not much room. You could add a little bench, you could add some cubbies, you definitely could add some coat racks at least if you wanted. But you've got that big closet right there too, so. We come out of there, here is the door to the basement and it's not finished so I'm not going to show it to you today we come in a little bit more now we're in the big family area great room we've got our fireplace over here this home actually has two fireplaces which is really nice love the tile just gorgeous a lot of natural light as you can see we've got windows all around then it flows into the kitchen. Here we have our walk-in pantry, which you can't walk in too much. It's not huge, but there is some extra room for storage. But you've got a ton of cabinetry. So I don't know how much you really need a, a big walk-in right there anyway. So we've got our gorgeous cabinets right here with quartz countertops. We've got our five burner gas stove. They're using KitchenAid appliances. Um, we've got, you know, the hidden trash can, which I love. All stainless steel appliances. I like how we've got the coordinating cabinetry, which is always nice. Then over here, we've got our microwave and our oven. And then, of course, the refrigerator. I really like that if you look at the cabinets, we've got cabinetry going to the ceiling, just a really nice finished look in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous countertop. And if you come around here, you'll see that we've got cabinets too on this side, so I love that. As you can see, this dining room is pretty ginormous. And we've got a ton of natural light because there's windows all around. I love this fireplace being here. Great option. So you can have two fireplaces down here. I love that. Now these yards, 
are a lot bigger than what you'll see in some of the other videos that I've done in this development because this is one of the bigger homes in this area. So as you can see, we've got this great deck, covered porch, and then quite a lot of room back here. So a really, really good lot. And there's gonna be a lot of other builders coming here in the Lyric area. Spring is when we're gonna see another builder. So keep looking on my channel to see some of the newer videos that I'll be putting out of the newer builders. Let's go take a look up the stairs. When you get up at the top of the stairs, to the right would be to the primary bedroom, which we will do here in a minute. But first, let's check out the rest of it. We walk right into this loft, and again, a lot of room, a lot of natural light. We've got our high ceilings. They've done a fantastic job. The walls, they have just, you'll be amazed at some of the designs in some of these rooms, really cool. Now, if we come through this little hallway, we're gonna be in a junior suite. And look how cute it is. Love it. Love the design. This faces the front of the home and the side. A lot of room in here. They've got big furniture and there's still a lot of room. Then we've got this great bathroom that I love with the walk-in shower, great octagon shaped tile, love that. Love the countertops and the cabinetry, the loo of course. And then if you come out of there, we've got our walk-in closet. Now, if we come out of there and we'll head this direction, there's another little hallway right here to the left. So here we have our utility, closet here and then we've got our laundry room right here which is awesome being on the second floor with our utility sink some counter space if you want to fold clothes in there tons of cabinetry then we come out of there here we have a linen closet and then this is kind of cool because you can go this direction or that direction to another bedroom so if we come right here We've got this big room. Again, just they've done a, a fantastic job. High ceilings, recessed lighting. Love the six inch baseboards. That's great. And then here we've got a bathroom right here with our dual sinks. Gorgeous cabinetry again. And then here we've got the tub and shower gorgeous tile and the loo. And then if we come out of there, we can go directly this direction into another bedroom. Hopefully you can see by the video that there is quite a lot of room in these bedrooms. They're not tiny. They feel comfortable. Again, some great design on the wall, but a lot of big furniture and still a lot of empty space, which is nice. Now let's continue the tour. Coming out of there, we'll go out that little hallway, past the loft and the staircase to get to the primary suite. So now we're in the primary suite and look at all this light. Great Colorado sunshine, great beautiful day. And we've also, of course, got a beautiful chandelier with some recess lighting, love the beams, love the shiplap, just really, really beautiful. So all of that, of course, goes into the finished price of this house being the 1.1, right? Now let's go this direction. And here we're in the bathroom. We've got a linen closet. Then you walk in more, we've got our soak-in tub to the right with windows so we've got the natural light coming in which is really nice like that then we've got our gorgeous countertop sinks some beautiful cabinetry and then of course we've got our walk-in shower here 
with a little bench, just beautifully done. And then to the left right here is the loo. And then here we have the walk-in closet. And as you can see, they have added some cabinetry and shelving. We've got a window for some natural lighting. Just really well done. I really like how they have, there's a lot of room in the bathroom so it doesn't feel cramped or anything like that. I love that. That is it for the tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to see this home in person, please contact me. I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you for joining along and I will see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.